Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? And uh, uh, start with this video. We're gonna have uh, several videos related to the first level cache while we're using the persistent API. And the first topic um, along this category, first level cache, is gonna be related to the insert. When we in using persist, the API to insert a entity into a database, it might be hold in the cache until transaction commit or before the query, uh, before we make a query. It will not, sometimes it will not make a uh, make an insert immediately. Okay, so here is the example. First, uh, we will make another another man. How about that? It's called the uh, first level cache man. Okay, which is um, very very similar to others. Okay, just want to make sure I it's much clear and won't be very long for one. Uh, class and uh, for the first demo is uh, related to persist. Uh, persist and the problem is uh, um, insert may be held in cache okay how to prove that we have to do I think we have two or three demo here, okay. And uh, here I want to close it, okay. And uh, I will make a man equals new first level cache, and we're using med dot persist e e m f. You can close it after it's done, okay. And here the first one. First one, uh, if we using the if we use if the primary key we using auto generate, but we are using identity, and for identity it gonna issue an insert right away. Okay, so here in a person. Now I using identity, right? When we using identity, it gonna issue an insert right away. It won't be hold in the cache. Uh, let me uh, okay. Uh, let's write a demo. Person p equals new person, okay? And use miss x i n g, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is system out one and then I will using em dot persist p okay and here I will have a two and uh, this one I will have a three okay so now let's run it and uh, uh, our SQL is already uh, make sure it's gonna be, have a SQL output okay in our console so we can see what's a statement actually when and what kind of statement which actually hibernate do for us so that's it it's done uh, first we see system dot out print one it's have one and between one and two we have a persist Okay, and uh, when it persist, it will immediately make an insert into a database. Okay, and uh, between two and three, it may uh, will do a commit. And uh, since this one is inserted in, into a database, so nothing is being done between uh, two and three. Okay, persist insert, and this is only happens when our generation strategy is identity. Now. If I change this one to be sequence, we know my SQL doesn't have sequence. Okay, I'm using my SQL. So it's gonna use in table, okay? 
but uh, let's run and see the difference. Okay, I just changed this one to be sequence and let's run. You will see the output gonna be slightly different. Okay, finish. Okay, finish. So let's take a look at between this is a one, this is a one, between one and a two. One and a two, we have a two statement. But did you see insert? We don't have an insert. The reason for this two selected statement is what? Because when we're using sequence, it's gonna create a new table. Okay, it's gonna create a new table called the hibernate sequence, which is uh, uh, has one column. This column is the value for the next primary key. Okay, and in our book, you are, uh, in our person, you will see the primary key is one. And if you insert again, it's gonna using two, and it's gonna do an update. This value is gonna be the primary key for the next inserted uh, object primary key. Okay, so here, the first one, it's gonna select, uh, <coughs> first one, it's gonna select the primary key, from the hibernate sequence, that uh, extra table, then it's gonna change the value to increase one. This is a two statement related to hibernate sequence, but actually our object is inside the uh, persistent context. It's not into in the database at this point. Okay, it's not in the database. It's hold in the cache. And only when we commit, see here, between two and three, we have a commit statement. Two and three, we have a commit statement, and between them, it will insert the value into the database. So if we are using sequence or table, it doesn't insert the value into the database right away. It will insert just before the commit or before another query. Suppose between them, uh, before this one, you make a query, it will also insert it. Okay, and uh, this is for sequence. The same thing will happen for the assigned, uh, uh, assigned primary key, okay? So if I don't use this one, I'm gonna use assigned book, this one. This one is assigned primary key. It's gonna be the same as we using sequence. I'm gonna give one 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 hibernate. Okay, gonna be the same as this one. It want to insert right away. It to, uh, uh, and and also oh, no no it also want to have this uh, uh query to the hibernate sequence because we already have a primary key here. Sorry, I forgot to using persist. Okay, sorry. Book B. Okay. Uh, book book. Let's uh, run one more time. I was thinking why not no, no statement is uh, doing here. Okay, good. See, take a look at. I have a book, and between one and two, I have a persist. But you can see, no statement issued by Hypernet to make a hit to the database. And only when we commit, between two and three, we are commit. Commit, we are trying to trying to make all the changes happened in persistent context to the database. And since we have a persist here, in this state, this book is inside the persistent context, but not in the database. And when we do commit, it detect, okay, in persistent context, we have a new object. Let me actually insert it to the table. So that's the uh, first issue. When we actually insert an object, it might be hold in the cache. 
and only when we commit or before query it will actually save to a database. And those will happen for the primary key is a sequence or you or, or table or is uh, assigned primary key, assigned ID. But if the primary key is uh, generation type is the strategy, uh, the strategy is the identity, it will insert right away. If you don't understand uh, the sequence and the table or identity, please watch my other video. The title is uh, Generation Strategy identity generation strategy. I will make a link in the description and the source code you can also download from the description. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.